Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. It's your brother Joshua back with another quick coffee break and a quick exhortation, man, for the brothers and sisters in the truth, right? First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shad, right? All praise is honor to the Most High, right? And I just wanted to come with a quick, quick exhortation. Not going to be long at all, right? Just go through, you know, <clears throat> a little rundown on the Lord is the one that does the healing, right? The Lord is the one that heals all things, man. All things, right? And oftentimes we forget about the most high when we are in, at our lowest points in life, man, right? The things that we go through, right? The stress, the trauma, right? Anything that we may struggle with, we often forget that the most high is the one that is the healer and that can heal all things and restore us back to life, man. Right. And we got to remember in these last days that when trouble comes and it arises and anything that comes against us, the first thing you got to do is what? Call upon the Lord, man. You cannot forget to call upon the Lord. Right. That's the first place you go wrong when you go opposite, right, from going to the Lord first, right? That's your very first mistake. When you forget the Lord, you bypass the Lord, and you go off and lean on your own understanding, man. All right, so let's jump into it real quick. Let's get the book of Psalm chapter 50, right? The book of Psalm chapter 50 and verse number 4. Five, and it reads, Slakia, 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 verse number 15, Slakia, and it reads, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Right? The most I said, call upon me in the day of trouble. Right? And he's going to deliver you in that time. He's going to be the one to put forth his hand and make sure he find a way out for you, man. The Lord has already mapped out your steps. He already knows where you're going, what you're going through, what you're about to go through, the things that ail you, that bother you, right? Have you in distress and worry, depression or sad or whatever, right? Sickness, all these things, the Lord already knows that. And that's why he said, call upon me in that day and I'll deliver you, man. Right. You cannot go your way and with your own mindset, think that you're going to live it, deliver your own self, man, without first calling upon the Lord, without first going to him. Right. For that righteous counsel, man. Right. The Lord is the one that's going to heal all things, man. And that's what oftentimes we run into trouble is when we believe on our own selves and think that we can dig ourselves out of the hole, right? Give our own selves glory above the most high and say, okay, I did that, or I got this, or I ain't even tripping. I'm going to do me. I'm going to be straight, right? You're deceiving your own self, right? So first and foremost, you have to call on the most high for anything, right? So let's get another real quick precept, man. Right? Like I said, I'm not going to be too long-winded. I want to give a quick exhortation, man. Right? To trust in the Lord, man. He's the healer. Right? So this is Proverbs 3 and 5, man. The classic. And it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path, man. Right? So that's what you want to do. In all things, you want to trust and lean on him, right, for the understanding and not yourself. You don't want to make yourself or boast your own self above the most high, man. Right? He's the healer. Right? He's that physician. He's the father. Right? And he understands all. So, you don't want to run straight to man, right? So let's take now, right? For instance, this is the uh, the season of, of sickness, man. And it's a lot of sickness on earth, 
brothers and sisters are suffering from all types of, you know, ailments, man. Um, you know, around the world, man, struggling. Flu season, so-called, the COVID, whatever it is, man. You know, brothers and sisters are, dis uh, uh, you know, disgruntled in their own bodies, man. You know, and struggling with these things, man, and out of commission, right? So even when you go through a, a, a physical element like that, man, the first thing you want to do is, man, I must go to the doctor, man. I must go get this medicine. I must go do this, uh, man. I I can even call on grandma, man. She got all the, the remedies, man, the old school remedies, man. I need to do that. Yeah, that's cool. But the first thing you want to do is what? Call on your how about Shim Yahweh Shai, man, and pray and ask for healing, man. Right? Your how about Shim Yahweh Shai take this, this wickedness away from me, this sickness off of me, man. Right? Restore me back to health. Right? Because you make a mistake to run it straight to the doctor's office, straight to grandma how. Right? Straight to your mama how. She got that robot testing for you. You know? You bypass the Lord and, hey, you don't forgot all about the real healing and where it comes from, man. But the Lord said you actually cursed for that, man. It's cursed. It, it, it's cursing to you for not for calling on the most high for that help. Right. Check this out. This is the book of Jeremiah real quick. Right. Jeremiah chapter 17. Right. And verse number uh, five, it says, thus said the Lord. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Right? So the Lord said, Cursed be the man that trusts in man. Right? Soon as you get sick and you down and you out, man, and the first thing you want to do, boom, I'm going to the doctor. I'm going to Big Mama House, man. They're going to take care of me. Right? You, your mind, it says, your heart has departed from the Lord, meaning your mind. Right. You've departed. You didn't. Your first thought wasn't immediately going to. OK, let me pray about this. Lord, I know you heal all things. I'm putting my life and my health in your hands. Right. And that's not to say don't go to the doctor. That's not to say don't go to Big Mama house and get that remedy. Don't go get those herbs that, you know, you use, you know, to get back to health. Right. That's not saying that. He understand that you have to use these things, man, in life. But your first move, your first thought, your first action is to turn to the most high, man. You don't want to say, oh, what a brother. You know, he said, hey, man, you know, forget the doctor. Forget going to Big Mama house, man. All I got to do is call on the Lord and he's going to hey, he gonna take care of me. You know, the most high is not a genie, man. He's not just going to snap his finger and say, all right, yeah, you good. Get on up and hear you, and that's it, right? You got to use wisdom, right? Check this out. This is the book of Ecclesiastes real quick, all right? Sometime, man, Jacob take words, what you say, man, and they'll, they'll go overboard with it, right? So check this out. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7. At verse number 16, it says, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldst thou destroy thyself? Right. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldst thou die before thy time? So the Lord said, man, don't be righteous over much, man. You know, of course, you got to take medicine sometime, man. Of course, you got to deal with those herbs. Sometimes you go to Big Mama House, man, and get that remedy. You know, but the first thing you should be doing is calling on the Most High, man. Leaning on the Most High for the healing at all costs, man. Because even the doctors are set up to take care of you, man. They're there for a reason. The Lord created them. They, he, he put them there. You got to give them their place and, and what they're there for. Right? The Lord said they're there for you for a reason. Right? Check this out. Let's go to the book. Right? Check this out. Let's go to the book. Sirach. Right? It's the book of Sirach, chapter 38. And I'm going to start from the top. It says... Honor a physician with the honor due unto him, 
for the uses which ye may have of him. For the Lord have created him. Right? So the Lord made the doctors and the nurses and things of that nature, man. He made them for you. Right? Read on. It says, for of the most high cometh healing. And he shall receive honor of a king. So the most high has created that physician and gave him that knowledge to be able to heal you. So ultimately, the most high gets that honor. He's the one doing the healing. He gave the power and the knowledge to that doctor to be able to make that right decision, that right diagnosis, right to give to you to heal and restore you back to health, man. Right? Reading on, he says, The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be an admiration, man. So, you know, a man, a physician, he might get a little, you know, proud or whatever because he's a knowledgeable, he's smart and those things, you know, and in the sight of men, yeah, he's going to get that honor, man. Right. It says the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth and he that is wise would not abhor them. So if you are wise, you would use the medicines that the Lord created out of the earth. You would use this physician for what he is worth, man. Right. But nevertheless, through the hands and through the medication and things that that, that physician has for you comes healing from the most high, man. Ultimately. At the end of the day, the Lord does that, right? Read a little more. It says, was not the water made sweet with the wood that is virtue there, uh, thereof might be known. And he hath given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works. With such doeth he heal men and taketh away their pains, right? So the Lord gave that doctor the skill to be able to take away those 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 ailments and, and those sicknesses and things away right through the hand of the physician that was created by the most high man and those medicines and those herbs and things that they give you right that allow you to be healed over time that bring back the vitamins and, and the, the energy and the things back into your system where were those things created from the most high Right. The most high gave you those things that you may be healed, man. But it's not due to those medicines that you are healed. Right. It's through the power of the most high that's allowing you to be restored. Right. So let's get another precept real quick. Check this out. Right. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse number 12. It says. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health. Right? Let me read that from the top. So it. This is Wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. It says, For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. For thou hast power of life and death, and thou leadest to the gates of hell and bringest up again, man. So the Lord is the one that has power to give life and to take it away. Right? It's not the herb that healed you. It's not those medicines, that all those things that restored you back to health. It was the words of the Lord, man. Sometimes you can receive healing, man, when you just in the scriptures, man. Right? Easing your mind. Right? Making you forget about back pain. All these things, man. The Lord is the ultimate healer. And he's the one that creates the men, you know, uh, and sets them up and puts the skills in their hands to do these certain operations to restore you to health. The Lord operates in the realm of men. You know, yeah, you look at the Lord as all powerful in the heavens and the spiritual realm, but he also rules in the kingdom of men as well because he creates those men to be able to take care of you. Right? Let's get that classic real quick, man. The book of Daniel. Right? This is the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse number 17. It says, 
This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and it giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it over the bases of men. So the Lord is the one that ruleth in the kingdom of men and he sets up who he wants to set up and what position, where and how, what skill he wants to give them and all these things, man. So the Lord does that. He creates that position and he gives it to you for a purpose, right? To honor him at the end of the day. Right. So let's run back to Sirach real quick. I'm going to finish that real quick in chapter 38. I'm going to jump down to verse number 12. And it says, then give place to the physician for the Lord have created him. Let him not go from thee. For thou hast need of him. There is a time when their hands, there is good success. For they shall also pray unto the Lord and that he would prosper. <clears throat> that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life, man. So <clears throat> the position's hands, he gives them the power to have success when they have surgeries, right? when they're doing triple bypass, right? Any type of thing, the Lord puts that skill in the hands and guides their hands that they can be successful and that they may help prolong your life, man, right? So the Lord rules in the kingdom of men, right? The Lord is the healer of all things. Don't ever forget to honor the most high before everything. When you wake up in the morning, you honor the most high, right? When you receive that meal, you honor the most high, man. Throughout the day, you give the most high your prayers. Bless the most high, man. He's the healer of all things, man. The Lord says when you bless the most high, you can't never go enough, man, right? Check this out. I'm going to get this inside right chapter 43 in verse 30, it says, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough, man. So you always want to exalt and, and give the most high praise for his healing, man, because he does all things. You always want to honor the father, man. Right. So let me get this last precept. Right. And I'm going to close it out. This is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 30. And verse number. <clears throat> I think I want number 17. And it reads, for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called so lock it. Let me read that from the top again. So lock it. This is Jeremiah 30 and 17, and it reads, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee out of the outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeketh after. So the Lord said, Call on me, and he will restore you to health, man, at the end of the day. Right? So I want to come with a quick exhortation, man, to not forget the most high. He is the healer of all things. When you're ever in any type of stress, uh, trouble, sick, whatever, call on the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man, and he will bring forth the healing, man. But with that, hope it was edifying, right? Giving our honor, glory to Yahweh. Bashima Mashak Yawashai Shawan.